Price check, price check in the studio, aisle five, price check, price check, that's right, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, why do we need a price check? Well, remember last week I announced that at 10,000 subscribers, when we get there, we're gonna do a giveaway where I give a pair of shoes away to a guy and a lady, but in addition, I want to help high schoolers specifically who cannot afford running shoes, and yes, the emails are starting to stream in. They're starting to stream in from high schoolers across the United States who cannot, and it's just, it's breaking my heart. It, I don't know how else to say it. It's breaking my heart. They have been run, like this This one gentleman, I won't say his name, but he's been running in the same pair for over a year now. Over a year, the same pair of running shoes. How many miles he has in them, I don't know exactly, but that's crazy like that's that first of all it's slightly not want to say dangerous but you know as far as injury prevention it's not good so price check today because i want to throw out some options for everyone out there as far as afford affordable running shoes that i have run in in 2018 and this year in 2019 but let's all work together to get to 10,000 subscribers as quick as possible because Oh, these emails, like you wouldn't believe the stories that I'm reading. And thank you, by the way. And if you're a high schooler, of course, email me if you have, you know, if you're in need of running shoes. With that said, let's dive in, first of all, to the New Balance Zante 4. This shoe I bought for $35 on Black Friday. It is no longer that affordable. Let me just pull up the price here. $60 to $75 is the price range that I am seeing for the Zante 4 right now. That's pretty awesome. That's a good one. And I am looking on Joe's New Balance Outlet. Joe's New Balance Outlet for $60 to $75 range. And this shoe would be perfect for the three to eight mile day. Uh, but guess what? It is light enough and I would say responsive enough. You could do workouts in this shoe for sure. You could do uh, road workouts and I would even, you know, you could take it on the track. So if you're a high schooler or a college kid and you're, you know, pinching pennies, you could use this shoe for, I wouldn't take it above eight miles, uh, but that three to eight mile range and then hopping on the track for some, you know, 400 repeats, absolutely in the New Balance Zante 4. So. There you go, that's an option one for you for affordable running shoes. And option two, yes, the Nike Pegasus 35. Not the Turbo, the Turbo is still pretty expensive, but the Nike Pegasus 35 is again a great, um, I wouldn't say, so it's not as responsive as the Zante 4, but it'll do the trick again for that three to eight mile range. I, I think the furthest I ran in this shoe was about seven miles, no, no, no. I th did I take I think I took it to 10 miles once and at the end of the 10 miles I was like ah oh, my legs are starting to feel the shoe a little bit so anyway this is I don't consider this to be a long distance shoe but again that three to eight mile range solid um, in addition I'll be like you could go run three to eight miles and then go cross train in the shoe like go get on a bike or go to the gym and start lifting like it's just a good shoe for I would say if you're averaging 20 to 35 miles a week you know a lot of high schoolers fall in that range 20 to 40 uh so it's just like it'll do the trick it'll do the trick and i am seeing it for between 60 and 90 dollars the cheapest i saw was on mod sense or modesense.com for women at 60 dollars and then all the way up to about 90 dollars for the guys and it started out i believe at 120 to 130 when it came out brand new in 2018 and what's really nice what's happening right now is that all the 2018 shoes are starting to drop 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 down in price uh so that is exciting another good option the nike pegasus 35 I, um, yeah, I would recommend it if you are, if you like Nike and the ride of Nike and you're looking for something affordable. Okay. And the third affordable shoe that you might want to look at is the Skechers Go Run Ride 7. This is not the Go Run Ride 7. I have not actually worked it into the lineup yet, but this is another Skechers shoe that I think has a lot of similarities to the Go Run Ride 7. So I can't speak like in detail to the GRR7, uh, but a lot of you love the Go Run Ride 7 for an affordable running shoe. And frankly, like I think Skechers is doing some things right. Uh, not everything, but some things really right. And at the price point, at the price point of $50 
for, I'm seeing it between $50 and $65 for the Go Run Ride 7. That's pretty, that's a pretty good deal uh, for overall, an overall trainer that you could use on the roads. You could probably take it on some buffed out trails as well. Not like rocky trails, but buffed out trails. And there you have it. There you have it. This, these are the three shoes that I would recommend if you're looking to save a little money. The New Balance Zante 4, the Nike Pegasus 35, and the Skechers Go Run Ride 7, which it looks, it actually looks pretty similar to this guy, but it's a little different. Uh, but again, I've heard, I've, everyone raves about the Go Run Ride 7. I just need to get my hands on it sooner rather than later. Sooner rather than later. So let's keep fighting. Let's keep going toward that 10,000. And uh, again, high schoolers, we're here for you. We get it. Like, listen, without a steady income like yeah like pinching pennies man you gotta you gotta work the strategy for staying healthy and yes buying new running shoes when you're able so don't be afraid to email me seek beauty work hard and love each other mm. see you tomorrow Woo. Oh.